Hey guys, it's me here, girl, aka Bex, and today I'm bringing you a topic that I'm really excited for, and that is Titanfall. Um, I've noticed that there's a lot of um, common misunderstandings about Titanfall that have been raised in comment sections of videos that I've made about Titanfall in the past, and just in general as well. So today I'm just going to address five of the most common ones that I've come across. If you guys don't know, if you're new to my channel, I played Titanfall in October of last year at EB Expo. And also the sources to the information that I've provided will be linked in the description down below for you to check out. Also, when I refer to the grunts in the game, I'm talking about the AI or the bots. Um, when I refer to the pilots, I'm talking about the real people that you'll be playing against online. And when I refer to a titan, I'm talking about the giant mechs that you see on the screen. So one big thing that a lot of people seem to really want to know and are really concerned about is the question about kill streaks and whether or not there are kill streaks in the game. Um, no, there are no kill streaks in the game, and this is confirmed. Well, you might be thinking then, where's the reward factor in doing well in the game then? Well, titans are actually the reward in the game. Although everyone actually gets a titan every two minutes, the more points or kills you get, the faster you can get your titan. So you can get it faster if you're moving around more and getting more kills, which adds to more points. This is my personal opinion. Um, the fact that there are no kill streaks to me is an amazing thing. Um, I think that FPS games such as COD really just got to a point where people just felt the need to camp for a kill streak reward. The fact that a reward in Titanfall is a timed reward means that there's a huge incentive to move around the map, to rush around so you can get more points faster and therefore you can get your Titan faster. So the next thing I want to talk about is the fact that a lot of people have mentioned that it's really unfair that there are bots in the game. I think that it wouldn't be fair if bot kills and pilot kills were the same amount of points, but you have to keep in mind that killing a bot is actually only worth 25 points compared to when you kill a pilot, which is um, 500 points. So you're not getting rewarded with the same amount of points for killing a bot versus a pilot. In fact, you're barely getting any points at all. One thing that you might find interesting is during Gamescom of last year, I watched so many Titanfall interviews, and there was one interview with Abby Heppy, the community manager, where she explicitly says in the interview that there are game modes without AI bots in them. I cannot find that interview. The closest thing that I can find at the moment is a quote from Joel Emsley. He's the art um, designer on the team. He says something along the lines of, with all the AI in the campaign mode, dot dot dot, which implies that there will be only bots in the campaign multiplayer and there will be no bots in the traditional online multiplayer. I guess what this means is that there's a pretty good chance there will be game modes without the bots if you have a really big problem with them being in the game. But even if they are in all the game modes in the game, just remember that they're only 25 points um, per kill as opposed to 500 when you kill a real person. A lot of people also seem to think that the titans will be overpowered. Um, from trailers and such, it might look like titans are impossible to kill, but if you actually play the game, you'll realise that it's really balanced and they're not overpowered at all. It's not like in Call of Duty where you traditionally have to switch to another class or you have to specifically give up a secondary weapon in order to equip a weapon to specifically destroy air support. In Titanfall, every player has an anti-Titan weapon in their class, along with their primary and secondary weapon. So it might look like Titans can easily dominate the pilots, but Respawn really wanted to balance the game, and one thing that they took into account was making the pilots able to double jump and run against walls, which means it's actually really easy to escape from a Titan, quickly switch to your anti-Titan weapon, and then take the Titan out. I also see a lot of people commenting that, oh, I'll just eventually play Titanfall when it's out on the PS4. Um, Microsoft actually has an exclusive license over the entire Titanfall 1 game. It's not a timed exclusive, as a lot of people initially thought. This is confirmed. Titanfall 1 is not coming onto the PS4. Titanfall is also not a yearly game like Call of Duty, so if you want to wait, you might have to wait until Titanfall 2 on the PS4. Um, assuming that Microsoft doesn't actually buy the exclusive license over Titanfall 2. Um, you know, even if you wait, Titanfall 2 isn't going to be out next year. EA has actually officially announced that they're rotating Titanfall, Battlefield and Battlefront, meaning that Battlefield was out in 2013, Titanfall is coming out this year, which is 2014, Battlefront will be next year, 2015, Battlefield 5, 2016, which means that Titanfall 2 will be coming out no earlier than 2017. So that's quite a long time to wait if you're waiting for it to come out on the PS4. Um, that's also assuming that um, Microsoft doesn't buy the license over Titanfall 2. Um, you do have the option of playing it on the PC if you don't have a 360 or an Xbox One. 
So the last point that I'll be talking about today is possibly the most, um, I don't know, I guess, controversial of all of the points, and that is that um, it's not worth it to buy a game without campaign mode. Um, if you guys didn't know, there is no single-person campaign mode in Titanfall, in the traditional sense at least, but there are story elements and characters which have been integrated into the campaign multiplayer. There's also um, traditional multiplayer modes as well. So a lot of people seem to think that $60 is way too much for a game with only multiplayer and that you're pretty much getting ripped off. I think if you think about how many hours you spend playing single player as opposed to multiplayer, um, multiplayer pretty much equates to endless amounts of content. You spend way more time playing online multiplayer compared to the single player. COD has a single player and a multiplayer and people just complain that the multiplayer is bad. Um, spending more time on a better multiplayer is a worthwhile sacrifice to me. You have to keep in mind that Respawn is a small team of 70 people, so they sort of have to like dedicate their resources in the best way possible. So in their opinion, dedicating more time on the best multiplayer game just wouldn't be possible if they tried to put a um, single player campaign in the game as well. And that's why they've incorporated the campaign multiplayer, which incorporates the single player elements into the game as well, alongside with the traditional multiplayer that you'd expect. So we've reached the end of the video and I hope you guys have found it useful. If you guys have any other questions you'd like to ask me, make sure to leave it in the comment section down below. Let me know if you are excited about Titanfall. I'm super pumped for the game and there'll be lots of Titanfall content out in March. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you later. Bye.